At last, we understand the mystery behind Jonathan Taylor Thomas's retreat from the limelight following his departure from the beloved comedy series Home Improvement in 1999. The burden of fame proved overwhelming for Jonathan, compelling him to alter his life's course dramatically. Jonathan confessed that he had endured enough sorrow and refused to let it dictate his future for even a moment longer. Don't miss this video if you don't know about Jonathan's transformation. Let's get started. A few decades ago, the stigma associated with living in a one-parent household was far more pronounced than it is today, a time when modern family dynamics were far more diverse and accepted. For Jonathan Taylor Thomas, the transition to a one-parent household was a significant part of his childhood, though he has rarely spoken in depth about the specifics of his parents' split. Despite the personal upheaval, his early years unfolded with a seemingly ordinary American backdrop, marked by his early rise to fame. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was born on September 8, 1981, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the second child of Claudine Gonsalves and Stephen Weiss. His early life in Pennsylvania was relatively stable until the family made a pivotal move to Sacramento, California, when Thomas was just four years old. This relocation was a crucial turning point, not only for the family, but also for young Jonathan, who would soon find himself thrust into the limelight. As the family settled into their new life in Sacramento, Thomas's burgeoning talent became increasingly apparent. His parents quickly recognized his potential and began to explore opportunities in the entertainment industry. Jonathan started modeling and appearing in various commercials, a precursor to his more prominent acting roles. His early foray into the world of acting and modeling showcased a natural charisma and talent that set him apart from other child actors. However, as Jonathan's career began to take off, his parents' relationship started to deteriorate. The timing of this personal turmoil coincided with a major shift in Jonathan's professional life. In 1991, he landed his most iconic role as Randy Taylor on the immensely popular sitcom Home Improvement. This role catapulted him into the spotlight, making him a household name and solidifying his place as a prominent figure in American television. The combination of his rising career and the crumbling of his parents' marriage created a period of significant upheaval in Jonathan's life. Shortly after he achieved fame on Home Improvement, his parents, Claudine Gonsalves and Stephen Weiss, went through a divorce. The split marked a turbulent time for Jonathan, who found himself not only adjusting to the demands of being a young television star, but also grappling with the personal impact of his parents' separation. As his parents' relationship ended, Jonathan and his younger brother moved to Los Angeles with their mother. The move was yet another significant change in the young actor's life, transitioning him from the familiar surroundings of Sacramento to the bustling and competitive environment of Los Angeles. This period was marked by intense personal and professional changes, as Jonathan transitioned from a child actor with modest success to a key cast member of one of the biggest sitcoms of the 1990s. Throughout this time, Jonathan's resilience was tested as he navigated the challenges of fame while dealing with the personal struggles of his family life. The pressure of maintaining a public image as a beloved television star, coupled with the private difficulties of adapting to a new city and dealing with his parents' divorce, presented a complex landscape for the young actor. As the years rolled on, Jonathan Taylor Thomas's transformation from a precocious child actor into a self-assured young man was closely followed by American audiences. From his early days as a sweet nine-year-old on Home Improvement, Thomas matured into a beloved teenage heartthrob, capturing the hearts of fans worldwide. By 1996, at the age of 15, he was a prominent figure in popular culture, his character Randy Taylor endearing him to a generation of viewers. The on-screen chemistry among the show's cast, particularly the familial bonds depicted, made it difficult for audiences to distinguish between fiction and reality, reinforcing the idea of the Taylor family as a quintessential American TV family. However, despite his success and the adoration of fans, 
Thomas's experience was not without its challenges. By the mid-1990s, when Thomas was navigating the complex world of teenage stardom, the allure of Hollywood and the trappings of fame began to lose their appeal. In a candid interview with Premier Magazine in 1996, Thomas revealed a perspective that was unusually mature for his age. Speaking with journalist Christopher Connolly, he expressed his dissatisfaction with the acting industry and the lifestyle it entailed. You can't be trapped in this bubble called the acting industry, Thomas remarked. The industry is neurotic and weird, and so when I go home and I play basketball with my friends, I'm not Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I'm just Jonathan. I don't like hanging out with other actors and actresses. Thomas's disillusionment with Hollywood's glittering facade was evident in his reluctance to embrace the typical A-list lifestyle. Unlike some of his contemporaries who were known for their wild behavior and high-profile parties, Thomas seemed to deliberately distance himself from the limelight. His sentiments reflected a broader discontent with the superficial aspects of fame. He preferred the simplicity of playing basketball with friends over mingling with other celebrities, and he expressed a clear desire to maintain a normal life outside of his acting career. This aversion to the Hollywood lifestyle was further highlighted in contrast to his peers. For instance, his co-star in Tom and Huck, Brad Renfro, reportedly led a more tumultuous life, allegedly indulging in the excesses of fame. Renfro's behavior contrasted sharply with Thomas's more reserved approach, showcasing a divergence in how young actors handled the pressures and temptations of their careers. The world of child acting comes with a set of stringent regulations designed to protect young performers, including restrictions on working hours and mandatory schooling. However, these safeguards, while essential, do not fully shield young actors from the stress and demands of the job. For Jonathan Taylor Thomas, his early years on the set of Home Improvement were marked by an intense schedule and considerable personal challenges. Jonathan Taylor Thomas, a central figure in the hit sitcom Home Improvement, was subject to the rules and regulations that govern child actors. These include limits on the number of hours they can work each day, requirements for on-set schooling, and restrictions on how late they can work. Despite these regulations, the demands of his role and the pressures of the entertainment industry took their toll. According to an interview he gave to People magazine early in the show's run, Thomas worked on set for nine and a half hours a day. This rigorous schedule, while regulated, still left little room for Thomas to enjoy a carefree childhood. Thomas's dedication to his craft was evident in his commitment to balancing his schooling, friendships, and his responsibilities as an actor. You have school, friends, learning your lines, and making sure your performance is up to speed, he explained in the interview. This juggling act highlighted the demanding nature of his role, as he was expected to deliver a high-quality performance while managing the typical pressures faced by a teenager. The stress of his rigorous schedule was compounded by health issues that Thomas faced during his time on the show. He revealed that he often worked through severe migraine headaches a condition known for its debilitating symptoms. Migraines are more than just severe headaches. They are frequently accompanied by nausea, visual disturbances, and a heightened sensitivity to light and sound. For someone working on a brightly lit set, these symptoms could be particularly challenging. Despite the discomfort, Thomas showed remarkable resilience and dedication, continuing to perform under difficult conditions. Sitcoms have long been a staple of American television, offering not only a steady paycheck for actors but also serving as a launch pad for greater opportunities within the industry. For many actors, securing a role in a successful TV show can open doors to a variety of other projects and solidify their status in Hollywood. Jonathan Taylor Thomas's involvement in Home Improvement was a prime example of this potential. As a central figure on the hit show, Thomas gained significant fame and a dedicated fan base. However, his unexpected decision to leave the show in 1999, just as the series was nearing its final season, left many puzzled and disappointed.
Thomas's departure from home improvement was met with mixed reactions from fans and colleagues alike. The show, which had become a beloved fixture of American television, was approaching its conclusion, and many viewers hoped for a fitting wrap-up that included all the main characters. Thomas's exit before the show's finale meant that fans were deprived of the chance to see his character, Randy Taylor, provide a sense of closure to the series. This abrupt departure was seen as a missed opportunity to complete the narrative arc in a way that honored the show's long-standing appeal and its dedicated audience. The discontent with Thomas's decision extended beyond the fan base and touched the show's cast and crew as well. Patricia Richardson, who portrayed Jill Taylor, Randy's mother, publicly expressed her dissatisfaction with Thomas's choice. In an interview with TV Guide, Richardson described the situation as a pretty sore point around here, suggesting that there were lingering feelings of frustration and disappointment among those involved with the show. Richardson's comments reflected a broader sense of unease and confusion regarding Thomas's abrupt exit. Tim Allen, who played Randy's father, Tim Taylor, also voiced his concerns about the situation. Allen's reaction was colored by his personal feelings of confusion over Thomas's decision to leave the show in favor of focusing on his education. Allen admitted that he did not fully understand Thomas's reasoning and that this lack of understanding led to tension between them. I mentioned publicly that I was confused. I don't think he liked that, Allen remarked. This public acknowledgement of confusion and disappointment from Allen further highlighted the strain that Thomas's departure had placed on the show's dynamic. When Jonathan Taylor Thomas decided to leave Home Improvement in 1999, he was navigating a pivotal moment in his life. At just 18 years old, Thomas was on the brink of transitioning from high school to college, a period marked by significant personal and academic changes that many teenagers face. For Thomas, however, this transition came with a unique set of challenges and opportunities, distinct from the typical high school experience due to his high-profile career in Hollywood. Unlike many young actors who might have chosen to capitalize on their success and continue working in the entertainment industry, Thomas opted for a different path. His decision to leave home improvement was driven by a desire to pursue higher education and experience a more traditional teenage life. This choice set him apart from his peers who often felt compelled to continue their acting careers despite the personal costs. Thomas's choice to step away from a successful show reflected his commitment to a more balanced life. In interviews around the time of his departure, he was open about the impact that remaining on the show could have had on his well-being. During a segment at the Kids' Choice Awards, Thomas spoke candidly about his decision. He acknowledged the challenges of leaving the show, but also emphasized the positive changes it brought to his life. It has been a change in the routine, but it's been a change that I've welcomed. I've gotten to go to school and be with my friends. Looking back, I made such a good decision, because had I stayed at the show and tried to do academically what I'm doing now, I would have put myself in an early grave, Thomas said. His statement highlighted a profound sense of relief and satisfaction with his decision. Thomas's choice to prioritize his education and personal life over his acting career was not just a career move, but a crucial step in maintaining his mental and physical health. His candid reflection about the potential negative impact of staying on the show, even if delivered with a hint of awkwardness, underscored his serious approach to the decision. The comment about putting himself in an early grave hinted at the intense pressure and potential burnout he felt during his time on the show. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was not immune to the intense scrutiny that often accompanies fame, especially when it comes to matters as personal as intimacy. During his peak years as a teen heartthrob on home improvement, Thomas faced relentless speculation and gossip about his private life, a situation that many public figures, including high-profile celebrities like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, are all too familiar with. In the 1990s, when Thomas was at the height of his fame, rumors about his intimacy became a significant topic of discussion among fans and the media. This was a time when tabloid culture was flourishing, 
and celebrity gossip was rampant. Despite being a young actor still under 18, Thomas found himself at the center of these invasive speculations. It is important to recognize how invasive and inappropriate this kind of scrutiny can be, particularly for someone so young and still developing both personally and professionally. In 1998, during an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, the subject of these rumors came to the forefront. Host Jay Leno, known for his straightforward and often provocative style, brought up the rumors about Thomas's intimacy. Leno asked Thomas if the speculation about him being gay had bothered him, referencing how people were talking about it through vague connections and hearsay. Thomas, displaying his characteristic composure, shrugged off the question with a nonchalant attitude, acknowledging that such rumors were just part of the Hollywood landscape. Leno, however, was not entirely satisfied with Thomas's casual response and directly asked him if he was gay. Thomas responded with a laugh and a straightforward, No, I'm not. While the interaction might seem like typical chat show banter, it was, in fact, a significant moment considering Thomas's age and the nature of the questions. At the time, he was still a teenager, navigating the complexities of fame and personal identity under the relentless gaze of the public and media. The scrutiny surrounding Thomas's intimacy was not just a matter of idle gossip. It reflected the broader, often intrusive nature of celebrity culture, where the personal lives of stars are frequently dissected and discussed. For Thomas, the impact of this invasive attention likely contributed to his decision to step back from the limelight. Being constantly under such scrutiny can be overwhelming, especially for a young person trying to establish their identity and navigate the pressures of fame. Thomas's reaction to these rumors was indicative of his ability to handle the pressures of fame with a degree of grace. However, the relentless nature of the speculation about his intimacy may have played a role in his decision to retreat from the public eye. The decision to leave home improvement and pursue a more private life was, in part, a response to the challenges he faced as a young star in a highly visible industry. There is a truth that Jonathan does not like any attention from fans, but feels indebted to them. In the world of celebrity, particularly during the 90s, few things were as electrifying as the rise of a charismatic young star. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was one such phenomenon. As a teenage heartthrob on home improvement, he became the object of intense public fascination, drawing admiration from fans who were eager to catch a glimpse of the charming young actor. His fame was such that it inspired a devoted following, eager to pursue him to even the most remote locations. This level of obsession is a testament to the powerful allure of celebrity, akin to the modern fascination with stars like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. During his peak years, Jonathan Taylor Thomas was not only a household name, but a teen idol whose popularity soared to impressive heights. Fans would go to extraordinary lengths to see him, even traveling to the backwoods of Canada where Thomas was filming Wild America. Such devotion highlights the magnetic pull of fame and the lengths to which fans will go to connect with their idols. However, Thomas's relationship with fame is complex. While many young actors might relish the adoration and visibility that come with their status, Thomas approached his fame with a more nuanced perspective. He acknowledged the significant role his fans played in his life, appreciating their support but also grappling with the pressures that accompanied it. In an interview with the New York Times, Thomas candidly discussed the challenges of meeting fan expectations and the difficulties inherent in trying to please everyone. You are a part of their life, and there is a lot that is owed them, he explained, revealing an understanding of the responsibilities that come with being a public figure. Yet, he also recognized the inherent conflict in trying to satisfy all his admirers. But it's difficult because you want to make everyone happy. But if you try to do that, you're setting yourself up for failure. This admission paints a picture of a young man who was unusually mature for his years. 
Thomas's reflection on the balance between personal comfort and public expectation underscores a deep self-awareness. Unlike many teenagers who might have embraced the spotlight, Thomas seemed to struggle with the intense scrutiny and pressure. His mature approach to fame and its demands revealed a thoughtful perspective on the nature of celebrity and the challenges it presents. By 2013, Jonathan Taylor Thomas had been absent from the entertainment industry for nearly a decade, and many had come to accept that his foray into fame was a fleeting moment rather than a lasting career. After his departure from Home Improvement in 1999, Thomas had taken a decidedly different path. He enrolled at Harvard University, an impressive academic choice that marked a significant shift from his previous life in Hollywood. Following his time at Harvard, Thomas expanded his educational horizons by spending two years studying at St. Andrews University in Scotland, the same prestigious institution that Prince William attended. This period of academic pursuit seemed to signal a complete departure from his acting career, leaving fans to wonder if he had moved on for good. However, in a surprising turn of events, Thomas made a notable return to the entertainment industry in 2013, almost 15 years after his last major acting role. His re-emergence came in a guest appearance on Last Man Standing, a sitcom starring his former Home Improvement co-star, Tim Allen. This reunion was more than just a nostalgic callback. It was a carefully planned return that highlighted Thomas's ongoing connection to the world of television. The news of Thomas's return was revealed by Tim Allen himself, who shared the details with Yahoo Entertainment. Allen explained that Thomas's return to acting was not purely a spontaneous decision, but was motivated by his interest in directing. Thomas had been shadowing the show's director, John Pasquin, with the intention of learning more about the craft of directing. Allen praised Thomas for his acting skills and noted that he had developed a passion for directing and working with actors during his time away from the spotlight. Thomas is interested in directing. He's always been wonderful as an actor. Then he went to college and he found other interests. He graduated and he came back and loves directing, loves working with actors, Allen revealed. This insight painted a picture of Thomas as someone who had evolved his interests beyond acting, seeking to explore new dimensions of the entertainment industry. Despite his return, Thomas's re-entry into acting was not without its challenges. Allen described his longtime friend as being quite shy and nervous on set, a stark contrast to the confident young star who had once captivated audiences on home improvement. Thomas's apprehension was not just a result of his extended absence, but also stemmed from his concerns about whether he still possessed the acting prowess he once had. He worried whether he still had it, and he didn't want to do the show because he's had other stuff in mind, Allen noted. This statement highlighted the internal struggle Thomas faced as he tried to reconcile his past fame with his current ambitions. Between 2013 and 2015, Jonathan Taylor Thomas made a notable but brief return to the entertainment industry by appearing in four episodes of Tim Allen's sitcom, Last Man Standing. These guest spots rekindled the hopes of fans who had longed for his return to a more permanent role in Hollywood. Each appearance was met with enthusiasm, as viewers and critics alike speculated that Thomas might be gearing up for a full-scale comeback. His return was a mix of nostalgia and fresh beginnings, drawing attention to his evolution from a beloved child star to a more seasoned, multifaceted creative professional. Despite the excitement surrounding his return, Thomas's foray into Last Man Standing did not translate into a sustained comeback. After his final appearance on the show, Thomas's career trajectory took an unexpected turn. He did not pursue any further acting roles or directorial projects, leaving fans and industry observers puzzled about his retreat from the spotlight. This silence was particularly striking given his earlier statements about his career ambitions. In 2011, Thomas had expressed a clear desire to work behind the camera, reflecting a shift from his acting past. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, he mentioned, I think at this point, 
I'd eventually like to work behind the camera. His comment indicated a growing interest in directing and producing, suggesting that he envisioned a future in which he could influence television and film from a different perspective. He also left the door open to future acting opportunities, acknowledging, That's not to say I would never act again. I'm not quite sure to, be honest. I still have a passion for TV and film and could see myself working in it. This statement was a blend of cautious optimism and openness, hinting at a possible return to the screen while also exploring other facets of the industry. Thomas's involvement in Last Man Standing seemed to align with these ambitions. By shadowing the show's director, John Pasquin, he demonstrated a serious interest in the craft of directing, which complemented his previous desire to work behind the camera. Despite this promising development, Thomas's career did not maintain the momentum that many had anticipated. His retreat from public view after his stint on the show was abrupt and left many questioning what had changed since his initial reemergence. One possible explanation for Thomas's withdrawal could be the intense scrutiny and pressure that accompanied his celebrity status. The early years of his career were marked by a relentless public gaze, from intrusive paparazzi to speculative tabloid stories. The intense focus on his personal life and the constant demand for his time and attention might have contributed to his desire for privacy and a break from the spotlight. This aligns with his previous statements about the challenges of balancing public expectations with personal fulfillment. What do you think about Jonathan Taylor Thomas's life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.